understand. I'll explain, I will reveal precisely what happened 31 years ago on the same Vaikashi month, Visaga Nakshatra, as per English calendar, 20th May 1989. So today, 31 years completed and 32nd year starting. Listen. This Vaigashi Visagam has multiple importance in Hindu tradition and for Kailasa. One, Subramanya was given Sarvanyanotra Agama by Paramashiva on this very day. Vaigashi month Visaga Nakshatram. And on this very day, Vaigasi Visaga Nakshatram Purnima Titi, Buddha became enlightened. Buddha was born, enlightened, and left the body. Mahaparinirvana. All three happened on this same day. Vaigasi month Purnima Titi. Jnana Sammandar, Purupuja Mahotsava happens on this very three days from Visaga Nakshatra to Mola Nakshatra. Vaigasi Molam is the day he had Videha Mukti, means Sayujya, Shiva Sayujyam, Parama Shiva Sayujyam. So these three days are celebrated for Tirunyana Sammandar. And my enlightenment day. Listen carefully. Precisely, if I were to put it in a words, what happened on that day, 20th May 1989? See, every time I explain, I open the layer by layer, deeper and deeper aspect of what has happened on that very day and reveal the deeper and deeper truths. Now, I will precisely tell you, Parama Shiva started manifesting as Parameshwara. On this very day, through this being and through this body. Understand? Parama Shiva started manifesting as Parameshwara. Through this body and through this being on this very day. Understand? I'll reveal more details few incidents happened before few incidents happened after 
so you can understand exactly what has happened i'll tell you today is not only the anniversary of my enlightenment day today is also the day of first initiation understand the moment parama shiva started manifesting as parameshwara first i did this calling my classmate and gave him power demo so today is the first power demonstration day second initiation today is the first initiation day third i gave him energy darshan and hug literally so today is the first energy darshan day fourth i explained this whole signs of power manifestation everything to him so maybe you can say today is the first satsang started today is the first satsang day literally i have started all my work satsang initiation power demonstration energy darshan literally i have started the enriching activity of kailasa on this very day today is the anniversary of not only my enlightenment it's the anniversary of energy darshan first energy darshan first initiation first satsang first power manifestation demonstration understand i am seeing 31 years of sincere enriching has made by the grace of parama shiva and the protection of kala bhairava kailasa has become reality understand the 31 years completed and 32nd year starting what what a day i have sharing from my classmate and my first disciple literally who received the initiation he has shared this personal experience you can listen to that after the satsang let me first tell whatever i wanted to say then you can listen to that video he is sharing we have video recorded is sharing it's available i'll share it with you all listen what has happened today is parama shiva manifesting as parameshwara through this being and through this body that is what i am trying to convey in multiple words like 360 degree i was able to see i was able to feel that i am everything the whole cosmos everything it's like a the pure parama shiva state started manifesting as the state space powers being super consciousness and kailasa of parama shiva 
through this being and through this body intensely intensely parama shiva started manifesting as parameshwara understand i'll explain few things which happened before this enlightenment experience you will understand exactly the reason why this happened in me first thing it all started annamalai swamigal telling that we are not the body we are beyond the body he started teaching the ramana maharishi's teachings and i ran to the home and wanted to check how can we be beyond the body and we are beyond pains and sufferings i took the shaver in those days like a, how my father used to have where they slide blade and shave i took the razor and literally cut my thigh of course there was bleeding my mother son immediately rushed me to the hospital hospital means just opposite house across the road family doctor his name is dr karunanidhi he was more like a family literally is a family and almost 13 stitches he had to make to stop the bleeding and he did all the medically what need to be attended and then he told in front of me to my parents that this is this is not accidental cut he has purposely done it because so deep so long accidentally you cannot cut ask him why he did it so they started investigating why i did the doctor even had the doubt whether it was a suicide attempt <laughs> then i explained the whole thing to my mother and father and to the doctor that annamalai swami will told we don't have pain and i just wanted to check whether i have pain or not so i cut myself and to see whether i have pain and suffering or not listen listen to this word neither my mother nor my father was angry with annamalai swami they did not have a single ill feeling to my guru annamalai swami first thing my mother said for my mother i am literally like not only now even in those days my father and mother both of them know 
purpose of their life is to give birth to me and protect me and make me flower once my father saw i have already fully flowered and started my mission he just relaxed and left the body understand they know their life's purpose is me flowering so they were so protective of me but the moment they heard the whole story my mother said and the sami chelli irunda அப்புறம் இருக்காது கண்ணு அது நாம தான் தப்பா புரிஞ்சிட்டு வந்திருப்போம் அவர்கிட்டயே கேட்கலாம் என்ன அவங்க சொன்னாங்க நீ என்ன புரிஞ்சுக்கிட்டீங்கன்னு அவர்கிட்டயே கேட்கலாம் பேண்டேஜ் எல்லாம் போட்டுக்கணு அப்புறமா அப்பா சாமி கிட்ட கூட்டு போறேன் அவர்கிட்ட கேட்கலாம் Huh? means my mother is telling that if that swami ji anamali swami said there will be nothing wrong we will ask him what he said and what you understood we will just find out and attend to that we will understand try to understand what anamali swami gal said my father says so first let us do all this first aid medically what need to be attended then i'll take you to anamali swami gal and get clarity the doctor who attended to me is literally part of my family because his house drinking water he gets from my house my house well used to be the common well for few of the family and neighbors and very good loving person very caring person never took money from my family for any medical care even for other villages he will charge maximum 10 rupees maximum understand the doctor his response kanna avanga sami solli irundanga na thappa avanu solli irukka maataga namma eppadi purinjikittom nu theriyala avanga kitta poi pesi paapom kattayam sami solli nee thappa purinjikitte cut panni irundha kuda avanga sari panniduvanga kavalapadadu i tell you the ecosystem understand if the same thing happens today first they would have filed the postco complaint on annamalai swami gal abatement of suicide annamalai swami gal misguided immediately the media mafia in tiruvannamalai oh annamalai swami gal misguided a small boy made him to cut his thigh abatement of suicide case fir is filed any moment he may get arrested postco fir is registered the protection of children from any dangers posco poxo sorry poxo understand the great ecosystem arunachala gave me not only my father or mother did not have any ill feeling see i don't have any question about my pati i will never question pati i will only question pasu and pasa i will only question me and the maya delusion never question pati my guru 
I will never do that. That is different. Even my mother or father forget about filing a case on Annamalai Swami. They will not even entertain, cherish a ill feeling. Actually, my mother is mother must be listening to this satsang. If she listens, she will even laugh because Never ever they would have had even an idea of filing a case on any of my guru. <laughs> Gurus. <laughs> Forget about cases. Even <laughs> ill feeling. And not only no ill feeling, they are not even indirectly saying, okay, from now onwards don't go to that Swami and whatever he says you are not able to understand. Let us not Disturb him, but let us not go there. Not even that. My father is telling, let's finish this first aid band-aid. I will take you to Swamiji and let us ask Swamiji the more details of what he was telling you and teaching you. And my mother is consoling me. Hey, if that Swamiji has said something, there will not be any wrong. We only would have misunderstood. Let us ask that Swamiji more details of what that Swamiji was trying to teach you. God, I can roll on the ground of Thiruvannamalai and touch every person who lives in Thiruvannamalai, his feet dust on my head. Literally the feeling I have now, the gratitude I have now for the ecosystem, oh God. Hey, I tell you, it is that ecosystem produced me. If I had even one poison around me, they would have stopped me going to Annamalai Swami. Actually, after this cut, I started going to him more regularly, every day. Neither my father nor my mother or the doctor put any ill feelings about my guru to me. Nor they even try to slow me down, keep me away from my guru. My father is telling, hey, let us finish the band-aid. Cut to put it out. Swami to put it out. I will pass it out. I will take it out. He is just waiting for doctor to finish the band-aid. And then doctor is telling, I also did not see that Swamiji for many days. I will also come. Let us go and meet and have darshan of Swamiji. Understand? When we went to Annamalai Swami, my mother was having tears, but not even one small ill feeling towards my Guru it was all about, I did not understand fully, I misunderstood something and did this mess up. What a mother and what a father and what a doctor and what an ecosystem. I tell you, every Shivacharya in Trivannamalai temple is my guru. I will be so happy to have their feet dust on my head. Every person living in Trivannamalai is equal to Paramashiva for me because they all ganged up and had such an amazing ecosystem. I tell you, within two days, that whole street, actually that poor street is all full of my relatives. My family has a habit, they will marry inside, 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 inside. So every person will be related to me at least five or six ways. My father's side, he will be cousin. My mother's side, some relation. 
some way it is such tight knit family i can give you an example my mother had five siblings two sis my mother and her sister and three sons all five got married in the same next next streets my father's mother and mother's father are brother sisters like that all only inside family they will marry and all of them live a large giant families to understand whole that my street knows that annamalai swami gal gave me some spiritual instruction i went and cut myself not even one person had one ill feeling for annamalai swami gal forget about having any bad words for annamalai swami gal not even ill feeling not single fellow even thought of coming and telling me why do you go to that swami because of him you, you cut your thighs and you have so much pain and 13 stitches what would have happened if you did not cut the thigh you just cut the neck all that negative built up stupidity not even one one person trying to have one thought against annamalai swami gal my guru or trying to even stop me going to my guru regularly nothing i tell you i tell you how much the ecosystem is important for a person to become enlightened for enlightenment to flower how much a ecosystem is important understand this from this even if one ill feeling in the doctor or in my mother or in my father or in my family towards the guru or even slowing me down going to my guru would have made the whole thing i don't know what would have happened i can't imagine the other side but i tell you because all of them were in such amazing space it's not that people don't care about me there were many for many people i am their favorite i was literally like how balakrishna was treated by the brindavan vasi same way that whole tirunamalai village in those days that it's only few streets in those days that my community celebrated me even now celebrating me that is different i tell you all of them love me so much but not a single fellow neither they had this thought nor they told me or even try to stop me indirectly my father could have said no 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 first you attend take the uh, treatment and get well later on we will see when i have to when we should see that swami ji we will see later on now nothing hari he did not tell he said first let us finish the bandage immediately i'll take you to the to, to that swami ji what an ecosystem i tell you i tell you everything everything all the good things happening through this being and body the first credit goes to paramashiva paramashiva's grace kalabairava's protection immediate next is that ecosystem it is not just one person or two person 
the ecosystem imagine if this is happened today 32 years now understand what we lost in last 32 years if this has happened today tomorrow there will be first of all the doctor has to inform the police hey there is he has to inform because it is medical legal medical legal he is legally bound to inform the police station and police station police is bound to do investigation and annamalai swami gali say hindu sadhu police will be simply forced to file an fir under post poxo act and arrest him by the media the dravish anti hindu media terrorists in tamil nadu in tirunelveli would have forced the police to file an fir under poxo and arrest annamalai swami never ever i would have been able to see annamalai swami my guru for ever in my life even if i prove in the court that he has not done anything wrong i cut myself on my own even if he is released from the co- uh, police jail i will not be allowed to see him again what all mess up would have happened i can't even imagine understand what is lost in last 32 years let us rebuild the ecosystem paramashiva provided to me as tiruvannamalai arunachala sarvanya peetam that is the real gratitude we can pay i can pay to arunachala understand why we need to build kailasa today this has happened within 48 hours annamalai swami will be in jail and i would have never i don't want to utter what any word from my mouth what would have happened to my future nobody knows whether i would have been allowed even to go to any other guru i don't know then what would have happened to this whole kailasa enlightenment ecosystem i don't know that is why i am telling you and the last lamp let us revive kailasa enlighten ecosystem where the beings can flower into enlightenment there was no media to immediately start writing scandals about annamalai swami gal in those days fortunately no pokso on annamalai swami gal neither anybody had a ill feeling to my guru nor they even thought of stopping me going to my guru immediately after the that bandaid i was taken to annamalai swami gal annam to annamalai swami gal i bowed down and said swami swami cut pannikitta konjam valiya tha irukke neenga sonninga namakku vali illa illa nama odambu kappala abdinu enak puriyra mari sollugala swami I went and asked him. I cut my thigh, and there is a pain. You said that there will not be any pain, and we are beyond body and mind. Can you explain more detail? <laughs> he is a Paramashanta Swarupa. He is not the person to react, and he just. 
light smile on his face and then he started explaining with a lot of care and he looked at the doctor karunanidhi doctor and doctor said uh, it's all treated and under the control he will become all right he said only said romba neelama kechikitan sami 13 thayal potirken adu sari aidum oru 15 naal la sari aidum cut very deeply and long was 13 stitches he has to make to stop the <laughs> bleeding <laughs> intense guy is him anything i do intensity is my brand shraddha is my brand authenticity is my brand from the beginning i tell you what was 20th may 1989 in tiruvannamalai i cannot disrespect arunachala tiruvannamalai i only wanted you guys to understand why we need to revive the kailasa enlightenment ecosystem government would have filed the pokso put that swami ji annamalai swami in jail but i would have never achieved what i need to achieve if that has happened because government cannot give enlightenment to me only my guru can give fortunately i had the ecosystem not only none of my relatives family people had ill feeling to annamalai swamigal they did not even stop me going to my guru then next the most important thing is kuppamal my godmother my guru guru mata she is not only my guru she is literally my grandmother means my father's mother's close friend both of them were only the very close thick friends and both of them are initiated into sri vidya sampradaya by isaki swami both of them were great yoginis they were running a team a group abida gujam in the name of abida gujam bal the parashakti parashakti's name in tiruvannamalai is abida gujam bal <coughs> uppamal is president of the team and my grandmother is the vice president so they were very intimate thick friends literally same family and kuppamal eh udra inda periyunga enna sonnalum adha vaalkaiyila test panni paakkaradun pandra illa idu podum eda ellathi saadichiruda nee udra that's all means you are actually encouraging me to experiment whatever my gurus are teaching one of the most beautiful thing i had many gurus none of them are possessive of me everyone was trying to support me enrich me make me a flower kuppamal will call every specialist expert in different different fields like a kuppamal's relative is narayana swami tata who is adept in the power manifestation science and mantra shastra herbal aushada science she will call him regularly and make sure i learn everything from him she had many of that kind of contact the great enlightened beings siddhas adepts in various field she will get all of them and make sure i receive all the knowledge and i am enriched never possessive 
he always owned me and made me successful never possessed me or controlled me he will only protect me from anti spiritual elements coming near me but as far as the spiritual sign she will get every best things and provide for me and she will make sure when every day i meet whoever i need to meet whether ram swarup kumar annamalai swamigal she had her own schedule and internal mechanism kind of a thing support system it was literally like a university spiritual university yeah. arunachala is living spiritual universe she will make sure i learned the saiva siddhanta from pandurangan pandurangar my saiva siddhanta acharya there was one elderly woman kanagambal kanagammal she is the disciple of ramana maharshi she wrote commentary on all the ramana maharshi's works so kupamal will make sure i learn all the lessons from kanagammal and annamalai swamigal sadhu om i tell you that whole ecosystem oh god police would have put annamalai swami gal into jail me into some medical hospital mental hospital for treating me psychologically because they would have diagnosed me either some whatever so many things are there na adhd this just jung jing they will even create one more cutting thai phobia cutting thai disorder and what they would have done i don't know whether they would have put me in sedatives under sedatives or put anti depression drugs into me and they would have even put me in foster home and took me away from my parents for not getting angry on annamalai swamigal and not stopping me going to annamalai swamigal so they would have even taken me away from my parents and put me in the foster home <laughs> ayyo yamma ஆள விடுங்கடா சாமி அண்ணாமலையானே இன்னொரு தரம் பூமியில பிறக்கிறது ஒருவேளை திரும்பி வரணும்னா ஒரு வீடு இருக்கணும் இல்லடா பூமியில அதுக்கு தாண்டா கைலாசத்தை பண்ணி வைக்கிறேன் இந்த ஈகோ சிஸ்டத்தை பண்ணி வைக்கிறேன் இல்லைன்னா திரும்பி வந்தா புடிச்சு மென்டல் ஹாஸ்பிட்டல் போட்டானுங்கன்னா என்னடா பண்றது கைலாசத்தை உங்களுக்காக கட்டணும் இல்லையோ எனக்காக கட்டி வச்சிடணுமடா அடே மனுஷனுங்க டேஞ்சரஸான பாசங்கடா அடே ஹியூமன் பீங்ஸ் பிகம் ஸோ டேஞ்சரஸ் i tell you just to give my gratitude to that whole ecosystem 
the kailasa which was there in trivannamalai i cannot say which was which is there in trivannamalai just to give my gratitude to that ecosystem to revive kaila even now it is there inside the arunachal till that rishis munis that they are all sitting and the ecosystem is kept alive maybe human beings have moved little away but that does not mean ecosystem will ecosystem is there and it has to be manifested that's all let's talk only about that let's talk only about what need to be done i tell you i tell you enlightenment ecosystem of trivannamalai the kailasa in trivannamalai made paramashiva manifest as parameshwara the state space being powers super consciousness kailasa parama shiva through this being and body kailasa in trivannamalai was response let us revive kailas to give our gratitude to that enlightenment ecosystem that is my message on today nityananda purnima to the whole world that is my message with this i have more releases and offerings from kailasa gifts from kailasa and we also have tulabaram now please stay tuned with this i bless you all let's all radiate with integrity authenticity responsibility enriching causing living shuddhatvaita saivam living and radiating the state space powers being and super consciousness and kailasa of parama shiva parama shivoham om nityananda parama shivoham the eternal bliss nityananda thank you be blissful